National Informatics Center is a key player in the promotion of e-governance and provides infrastructure, platforms, products and services for the government. This has revolutionized service delivery across the country, right from the center up to the district. The vision behind the establishment of NIC was of Dr. Narsim Bhaiya Sheshagri, founder, director general, NIC, and former special secretary to the government of India. We would like to develop a complete computerized network for the process of uh, information support. And we would like to give database development support to the various departments of the government of India. He led the ICT revolution in India. During his 25 years at NIC, he groomed and inspired a generation of scientists, engineers and technocrats to provide leadership in e-governance in India. Today, NIC pays tribute to this eminent personality. The remarkable achievement of NIC over the years was conceived by its founder, Dr. Sesh Giri, an eminent IT expert himself. Based upon his vision, NIC connected governance in the entire country on its digital platform. And today, NIC has emerged as a very important institution of India, relied upon both by the central and state governments, and not only helping governance, but most importantly, subserving the larger cause of digital inclusion. Today, Digital India program by itself has become a very successful program globally acknowledged and recognized and transforming India in a very significant way. I'm very happy that NIC has decided to organize a memorial lecture in memory of its founder and it is a matter of great assurance that from the real dawn of India's IT movement, Sri Narayan Murthy has agreed to become the first speaker. His journey in many ways is a remarkable testimony to the transformation of India in the IT sector. He has seen many worlds himself. I was very keen that some memorial lecture must be held by my department to enable our officers to know more and more about the changing profile of India's digital ecosystem and be aware of the changes which are happening there. Professor Narayan Murthy represents that journey in a very substantial way. I wish to compliment NIC for agreeing to my request to establish some degree of intellectual interaction and it could not have been a better tribute to its founder, Dr. Seshgiri, that this memorial lecture should be dedicated to his memory. My greetings to all present here and my greetings to NIC for starting this very extraordinary journey. Dr. N. Sheshagiri believed in and embraced the power of technology for efficient public service delivery thus making ICT culture palpable in various sectors across the country. He introduced the NICnet, the NIC network, which brought in IT revolution at the grassroot level for the benefit of the common mass. A pioneer, Dr. N. Sheshagiri was the initiator and architect of the IT transformation in the government. The introduction of network connectivity and adoption of computerization at all levels in the nation is credited to him. Dr. Seshgiri was a member of the IT task force. He was also instrumental in drafting a number of key policies in India. Some of these policies went on to help with liberalization in computer hardware. 
in software exports and in training. Uh, he also catalyzed the formation of uh, NIC into a very potent instrument for the development of ICT in India. Uh, till today, NIC continues to contribute tremendously to the growth of e-governance and broadly to the growth of ICT sector in India. Dr. Seshgiri's contributions have been uh, amazingly valuable in this area. Multitude of information systems initiated by Dr. Sheshagiri have evolved into the digital services, platforms and products available today. He established National Informatics Center Services Incorporated, NICSI, a Section 25 company for providing and procuring IT solutions for the government. Another major contribution of his was in setting up of Software Technology Parks of India, STPI, which revolutionized the Indian IT industry. Conferred with the prestigious Padma Bhushan Award, Vikram Sarabhai Research Award, Asia Jyoti Award, Om Prakash Bhaseen Award, Karnataka Rajya Utsav Jyoti Award and several other awards. Dr. N. Sheshagiri was also instrumental in drafting key software, hardware and national IT policies for the nation. National and international media credited his visionary dynamic leadership, teachings, thought-provoking and innovative ideas and his efforts in research and development. He's always been admired by his contemporaries for his vision and contribution. I have had the privilege of uh, knowing Dr. Sheshigiri for over 30 years, between 1982 when I first met him and 2013 when he died. He was a very honest person. He was a quick decision maker and he was an intellectual. He went out of his way to support honest businessmen. In every discussion, he used data and facts. He was open to admitting if the other side had better points. Dr. Sheshigiri and Sri N. Vitro are the joint creators uh, from the bureaucratic side of the Indian software industry. The entire credit for creating the, the Indian software industry from the side of the bureaucracy should go to these two extraordinary individuals. E-governance today is the outcome of the vision of this legendary personality. His vision and far-sightedness has led India to become the IT superpower. Dr. Seshigiri was a great visionary who played a pivotal role in the growth of India's IT industry. Under his inspiring leadership, NIC evolved as the technology partner of the government, ushering in many e-governance initiatives. He had set up first VSAT network in the country, connecting government at all levels to remotest districts of India, thus laying the foundation of digital inclusion way back in 1986. Digital India program of today has its roots in the groundwork done through his pioneering initiatives be it information systems, data hubs, or software products. Like me, many of us had the good fortune of growing under his guidance and learning from his experiences. We at NIC are fully committed to take his precious legacy forward and continue to build IT solutions to serve poorest of the poor. Many of his initiatives are finding relevance today. A visionary, a crusader, a philosopher, a guiding voice, an evangelist. Words do fall short to describe his enigmatic personality. His contributions in the field of ICT will always be remembered. <laughs>